good morning students so today our topic is what are indeterminate forms how to evaluate the indeterminate forms see now indeterminate forms that is 0 by 0 infinity by infinity 0 into infinity infinity minus infinity 1 to the power infinity 0 to the power 0 infinity to the power 0 these are called indeterminate forms so using L'Hopital's rule he is a French mathematician so you should not pronounce L hospital you have to say L'Hopital okay using L'Hopital's rule we are going to evaluate the indeterminate forms in limits okay now we see the L'Hopital's rule suppose f of x and g of x are differentiable functions and g dash of x not equal to 0 so we are taking two functions one is f of x another one is g of x both should be differentiable that means we can differentiate f of x and g of x okay you see your question will be like this limit x tends to a f of x by g of x okay so when x approaches a what is the limit value of the function f of x by g of x here these two functions are differentiable okay so if the question is asked you see that what is given limit x tends to a f of x is equal to 0 limit x tends to a g of x is also 0 you see now this is the question we are going to evaluate it so when you apply the limit when x tends to a f of x okay so if you have limit x tends to a f of x by g of x how it will be evaluated we have to apply the limit when x tends to a so what has to come here it is limit x tends to a f of x divided by limit x tends to a g of x in this way only we will evaluate so you see what is given here limit x tends to a f of x what it does it is equal to 0 so when x approaches a your f of x approaches to 0 upon the numerator limit is 0 divided by come to now limit x tends to a g of x you have to find that also given that it is equal to 0 so when x approaches a your g of x also limit g of x also approaches to 0 now what the answer you are getting for this question it is 0 by 0 what is 0 by 0 i have said already it is a indeterminate form so if indeterminate form comes using L'Hopital's rule the answer for this question is equal to so what is the answer limit x tends to a f of x by g of x while you are evaluating if you get indeterminate form you can write using L'Hopital's rule this can be written as limit x tends to a f dash of x by g dash of x that means you can differentiate the numerator function f of x separately and you can differentiate the denominator func function g of x separately then you have to apply the limit so both are same answer okay so that is the, here it is given here provided what is given g dash of x not equal to 0 because in the denominator g dash of x is there if it is equal to 0 again you will get a you know it tends to infinity so that's why they have mentioned the two functions are differentiable and g dash of x not equal to 0.
okay you see now using this i'll explain one uh, problem then you will understand okay you see first problem xi 7.5 first problem limit x tends to 0 1 minus cos x by x square so first we have to apply the limit what is the limit here x tends to 0 so how it will come 1 minus cos 0 divided by 0 why it is 0 square that is 0 okay 1 minus cos 0 is what it is 1 so 1 minus 1 divided by 0 so what you are getting 0 by 0 now you are getting the indeterminate form so if indeterminate form comes you can use L'Hopital's rule so what they have said you have to differentiate the numerator separately look at the numerator it is 1 so the differentiation of 1 is 0 so I didn't write now here you are having minus so I have written the minus here so you have to differentiate cos x what is the differentiation of cos x minus sin x so I have differentiated the numerator separately divided by differentiate the denominator separately what is x squared the differentiation of x squared that is 2x okay both the limits are same okay so after that you have to apply the limit so x tends to 0 if you apply so sin 0 by 2 into 0 so what is sin 0 sin 0 is 0 again I am getting a indeterminate form so you can apply the L'Hopital's rule again for this function so limit x tends to 0 sin x by 2x that is equal to you are applying you are going to apply the L'Hopital's rule what you have to do you have to differentiate the numerator what is the differentiation of sin x cos x divided by what is the differentiation of the denominator it is 2x 2x when you differentiate it is 2 now you apply the limit so what is it cos 0 by 2 what is your cos 0 that is 1 1 by 2 okay have you understood see now this is the question the question how it should be it is in the form of f of x by g of x both the functions should be differentiable then only we can apply L'Hopital's rule so when you apply the limit for f of x by g of x if you get indeterminate form so you have to apply L'Hopital's rule what is the L'Hopital's rule so you have to differentiate the numerator separately and denominator separately so see now the next one these two results are given so limit x tends to a f of x and limit x tends to a g of x both are tends to plus or minus infinity okay then you have to evaluate this limit what is the limit limit x tends to a f of x by g of x that is equal to so when you apply here infinity by infinity will come that is also indeterminate form so according to the L'Hopital's rule limit x tends to a f dash of x by g dash of x so we will come to the second problem xi 7.5 second problem limit x tends to infinity 2x squared minus 3 divided by x squared minus 5x plus 3 In the first step you can apply the limit okay here what I did now from the numerator I have taken x squared as common and the denominator also I have taken x squared out so if I take x squared out from this term what is remaining it is 2 minus from there is no x squared so if you have taken out now it has to be divided by x squared so it is minus 3 by x squared in the same way come to the denominator x squared is taken out means what is remaining here it is 1 I have written 1 minus so x squared is taken out so it will be minus 5 by x plus here there is no x squared so it can be written as 3 by x squared now you can cancel x squared x squared you will get this term now you apply x tends to infinity what is 3 by infinity so it is 0 1 by infinity is 0 Aba here your answer is 2 minus 0 divided by 1 minus 5 by infinity 5 by infinity is 0 plus 3 by infinity also 0 so your answer is 2 here I didn't apply the L'Hopital's rule 
okay because i didn't get any indeterminate form come to the third problem limit x tends to infinity x by log x so first step i'm going to apply the limit first so it is infinity by log infinity log infinity is infinity so it is in the form of infinity by infinity it is a indeterminate form so we have to apply l'hopital's rule okay so limit x tends to infinity you have to differentiate the numerator what is the numerator x when you differentiate it is 1 and look at the denominator it is log x when you differentiate log x it is 1 by x what is 1 by 1 by x that is nothing but x okay when x tends to infinity limit x tends to infinity x is infinity infinity is not the another you know, indeterminate form indeterminate form means infinity by infinity so it the limit tends to infinity come to the fourth problem limit x tends to pi by 2 minus secant x by tan x okay first you can apply the limit directly so if the trigonometry function is there so first i am going to evaluate it okay so limit x tends to pi by 2 minus secant x can be written as 1 by cos x and the denominator you are having uh, tan x so tan x can be written as sin x by cos x so the cos x the denominator of the denominator you will have cos x that will come to the numerator otherwise you listen now secant x into secant x into 1 by tan x so 1 by tan x is what cot x so how to write cot x cos x by sin x so this cos x cos x getting cancelled here you are having 1 by sin x when you apply the limit 1 by sin pi by 2 okay what is sin pi by 2 answer it is 1 so 1 by 1 is equal to 1 come to the fifth problem limit x tends to infinity e power minus x into root x see that our question should be in the form of f of x by g of x but here both are in multiplication so first you have to rewrite this function so it is root x by e power x here in the numerator e power minus x is there so when you bring it to the denominator it is e power x okay now you apply the limit x tends to infinity so root infinity by e power infinity so the answer is infinity by infinity you will get the indeterminate form so we have to apply the L'Hopital's rule consider this limit you have to differentiate the numerator root x so how to differentiate differentiate root x d by dx of root x root x can be written as x power 1 by 2 so it is the differentiation of x power 1 by 2 okay so use the power root so it is 1 by 2 x to the power 1 by 2 minus 1 so it is nothing but 1 by 2 x power half minus 1 is minus half so it can be written as 1 by 2 see bring this x power minus half to the denominator it is x power plus half that is root x so the differentiation of root x is 1 by 2 root x what is the differentiation of e power x that is e power x okay so it can be written as 1 by 2 root x into e power x now you apply the limit here also infinity this is also infinity so 1 by infinity that is equal to 0 okay come to the problem number 6 <coughs> limit x tends to 0 1 by sin x minus 1 by x okay see now first you just take lcm so what is the lcm x sin x so in the numerator you will have 1 into x x minus sin x okay just you apply the limit first so it is 0 minus sin 0 divided by 0 into sin 0 so 0 into anything is 0 so you will get what 0 by 0 in determinate form so you have to apply the L'Hopital's rule okay take this function you take the numerator and differentiate the differentiation of x is 1 
and the differentiation of sin x is cos x. So, it is 1 minus cos x. Go to the denominator. What you are having here? x sin x. So, the product of two function. So, you have to apply product rule. So, first function you just keep as it is. The differentiation of sin x is cos x plus the sin x you have to keep as it is and you have to differentiate x. The differentiation of x with respect to x is 1. So, you will get x cos x plus sin x. Now, you apply the limit. So, here you will have 1 minus cos 0 divided by if you apply 0 here the whole thing will become 0. So, that is why 0 plus sin 0. So, cos 0 is 1. 1 minus 1 is 0. Sin 0 is 0. So, 0 plus 0 is 0. Again, you will get the indeterminate form. So, again, you can apply the Lopitha's rule. So, come to here 1. The differentiation of 1 is 0. So, minus is here. What is the differentiation of cos x? Minus sin x. Okay. Come to here x cos x. What is x cos x? It is a product of two function. So, you have to use the product rule to differentiate. So, x, the cos x differentiation is minus sin x plus cos x, the differentiation of x is 1. So, I have differentiated the first term. Here you are having one more term that is sin x. The differentiation of sin x is cos x. So, this can be written as minus into minus sin x that is plus sin x divided by minus x sin x cos x plus cos x is 2 cos x. Apply the limit sin 0 divided by 0 into sin 0 is 0 plus 2 cos 0. Okay. What is sin 0 is 0. 2 cos 0. What is cos 0 is 1. So, it is 2. 0 by 2 what is the value? It is 0. So, the answer is 0. Come to the problem number 7. Okay. Come to problem number 7. So, see now limit x tends to 1 plus 2 by x square minus 1 minus x by x minus 1. First, you have to apply the limit. What is the limit here you are having? x tends to 1. What is it? x tends to 1. Okay. You apply the limit. So, here you will have 1 minus 1. What is it? 1 minus 1 that is 0. Okay. When you apply here 1 divided by 1 minus 1 that is 0. Okay, so 2 by 0 is infinity, here also infinity. So, infinity minus infinity is indeterminate form. Okay, so before uh, applying the L'Hopital's rule, I am going to take LCM. So, uh, before applying the limit, the, the step, first you can arrange, then you can apply the limit. Here, first I apply the limit, I got the indeterminate form. So, I have to apply L'Hopital's rule. So, before that, I just arrange the function. So, what is the LCM here? Can you say it is in the form of a square minus b square? Okay, here it is x minus 1. This can be written as x plus 1 into x minus 1. So, the LCM is x plus 1 into x minus 1, or otherwise, you can write x square minus 1. Okay, so here x square minus 1 is the LCM. So, the numerator 2 you have to write as it is minus. Here x minus 1 alone is there. So, the LCM is this one. So, you have to multiply x with x plus 1. Okay. Now, you see after arrange, after taking LCM you can apply the limit. Okay. So, it is 2 minus what is it? 2 into 1 plus 1 that is here you will have 2. So, 2 minus 2. The denominator 1 minus 1 what it does? It is 0. So, 2 into 0. So, 0 by 0. Okay. So, I am going to apply the L'Hopital's rule now. Okay. So, here it is. Um, before that, I simplified. Because otherwise, I have to use the product rule. So, before applying L'Hopital's rule, I am going to arrange this function 2 minus x into x is x squared minus x into 1 is minus x divided by what is x plus 1 into x minus 1 that is x squared minus 1. Okay. So, now I am going to apply the L'Hopital's rule here. So, the numerator the differentiation of 2 is 0 and the differentiation of x squared is minus 2x and here the differentiation of x is 1. So, you have to write minus 1 divided by what is the differentiation of the denominator it is 2x. 
minus 1 differentiation is 0. So, apply the limit. So, it is minus 2. Why it is minus 2? In the place of x, you have to substitute 1. So, it is minus 2 minus 1 divided by 2. So, the answer is minus 3 by 2. Thank you, students.